Good morning, friendly faces of Kent. Hope you're all keeping well and staying in the warm and dry. With Valentine's coming up and no likelihood of being able to go out for a romantic meal for two, I thought today we could make something a little decadent to share with your loved ones at home. This is a super simple and deliciously fruity cheesecake using strawberries and frozen berries. Here's our ingredients. 150 grams of melted butter, 300 grams of digestive biscuits, 650 grams of soft cheese, 175 grams of icing sugar, 300 ml of double cream, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 300 grams of strawberries, 50 grams of caster sugar, a teaspoon of corn flour and some frozen berries. Place the biscuits into a food processor and blitz down until they are crumbs. Add the melted butter and pulse again briefly. Lightly butter the base and sides of a deep spring form tin and line the bottom with parchment. Tip the biscuit mix into the tin and use your fingers and knuckles to press down firmly to make an even base. Whisk the soft cheese until fluffy, add the icing sugar and whisk again until smooth. In another bowl, add the vanilla extract to the double cream and whisk until thick. Chop 200 grams of strawberries and add them to the cream and the cheese. Mix until smooth and well combined. Spoon the mixture into the chilled base and spread the top so that it is smooth and flat. Place the cheesecake into the fridge for at least four hours, but preferably overnight. To make the topping, put the remainder of the strawberries into a small pan with the caster sugar and a splash of water. Cook over a medium heat for eight to ten minutes until the sugar has dissolved and the strawberries are soft. Gently mash the strawberries and then sieve. Put the juice back into the pan and add the corn flour and heat until thickened. Leave to cool. Once the cheesecake has set, spread the strawberry sauce over the top. Carefully remove from the tin and put on a serving plate. And just before you're ready to serve, top with the frozen berries. Everyone will fall in love with this dessert. Hope you enjoyed today's recipe and you have a wonderful Valentine's with your loved ones where possible. Stay safe, look after yourself and each other and we'll see you all next week for some more Let's Cook Together. Bye!